Today in art, we're going to make a robot using lines and shapes that you know. This is my pizza robot, but you don't have to make a robot like mine. You know lots of different shapes, and you can use any of them to make your robot. I've got my paper the vertical way, and I'm going to draw my head up here at the top. I'm going to think of some shapes I know. Hmm, a good head shape. Square? Rectangle? Oval? Half oval is what I'm going to use. And let's see, I need some eyes. I'm going to do oval eyes with a circle inside. And for a mouth, I'm going to draw a trapezoid. And let's put some lines in there. And some rectangles on the sides. See, this robot has an antenna because it can be controlled by remote control. A small rectangle for a neck. And let's see, the body I want it to be pretty big. I'm going to do a large rectangle. This robot is going to do something for me. It's going to cook any kind of pizza I want. So I need a body that's going to be big enough to have different kinds of control panels in there. Let's see, inside here I'm going to do some smaller shapes. So here's a control panel. I'm going to do a rectangle and then buttons for large, medium, and small pizza. And I'm going to do another control panel over here. I'm going to do some square buttons for different kinds of toppings. Pepperoni, sausage, green pepper, and small, medium, large. I'm going to really think about the things I, I'm going to need on my control panel. I'm going to do another set of buttons for different veggies. I can do these square. I can do lots of different shapes for my buttons. I know I need an oven, so I'm going to draw a large rectangle down here for the oven and a handle. And I need a temperature gauge so I know how hot it is. And I want to put a timer in. I'm going to do a rectangle over here with some buttons for my timer. And a little light to show that the oven is on and another light to blink when it's ready. And I need a drawer for paper plates and forks and napkins. And in the small space I have left a video screen so you can see what kind of pizza you have ordered. I'm going to draw a half circle up here for a shoulder and then a line down for the arm and a copycat line to make it a shape and a small rectangle down here for the wrist. My robot has a claw hand so it can take out that hot pizza from the oven. I'm going to draw some slightly curved lines in here so it looks like this arm can bend. And another half circle for a shoulder and this arm is going to bend. So I'm going to do an L shape line then a copycat line and a small rectangle on top. And I'm going to do those lines on the arm to match the other arm. This guy is going to have a hand that can turn into a big tray. So I'm going to draw an oval up here to hold my pizza. And of course I have to draw a pizza.
and it's hot. So I'm going to do some little steam lines. Ooh, it smells good. And I need to do some legs. I'm going to do some rectangle legs. So I'm going to do two rectangle shapes coming down. And even though this robot is standing still for the moment, he needs to be able to bend his legs. So I'm going to draw some ovals in where the knees would be. And half circle feet. I'm going to put some roller skates on these shoes. So I'm going to draw some little wheels down here. That way I can make sure my robot can move fast and bring me that pizza while it's still hot. And some lines on the legs. This way it will match the arms. And I'm done with my drawing. I want to give you a couple more ideas for drawing your robot. Do you need a haircut? This robot will cut and style your hair any way you need it. You can see she has a trapezoid head and a half oval body. Here's a sports robot that will help you practice any sport you want. And you can see he has a square head, an oval body, and instead of legs, a wheel so he can move around super fast. When you're done drawing, make sure you color your robot in all the way. Have fun designing your robot!